Hello everyone, so just inside Dollar Tree, I had to share these adorable fabric Easter baskets are back. The ones with the polka dots and the blue has plaid. They have a few options in the plastic and also like the faux wicker stuff or faux wood. Lots of treats, which these are going to sell, I think, this week. Everything will start to clear off the shelves, but these baskets are really pretty as well. These pots are new and they have some sentiments written on them. The only problem is they are plastic, but they're selling very fast. And these are amazing as little organizers as well, under a sink or in a craft room. These are really sweet. They have some really nice sentiments. They're like a plaster, I guess, cement plaster type thing. And would look really cute in a garden. Just as a little welcome, it's like a, I just think they're pretty. They have these little angels. I know some of you really like them as well. And a bunch of garden tools. These are all new. We didn't have this last year. The garden flags are cute. These are new this year as well. So you have the gnomes and the flamingo. What else is here? Oh, the lemon. So you can use this as well as like a canvas piece. If you wanted to Mod Podge it on a piece of wood, that would work really well. Sometimes you don't have to use the things like this to could turn into a farmhouse decor. These are probably my favorite baskets that Dollar Tree has for Easter. So in previous or in past years, their fairy garden items always sell very fast. I'm actually surprised. Oh my gosh, so cute. I'm actually surprised with the variety and all the like just so many different pieces. So you have like the fairyland and you have these like the ice cream and then the beach theme. There's just so many. Like the little sand castles are really cute too, right? Anyways, uh you can make them as fairy garden, use them as fairy garden pieces, of course, to make, or you can use them as tear tray decor. So if you have like a little beach house or a tear tray that's themed, you can just add a little piece here and there. A little punch buggy, so cute. Anyways, oh look, the little houses. You see these storage containers, don't think twice, just buy them because they sell so fast. And these as well. Don't even mess around. These go so quick because they have 72 pieces versus I think regularly they have, well, regular boxes have 48 pieces. So you definitely, oh my goodness. Aren't these the things that cost like 20 bucks? Anyways, I'll just sort these out because that's just how I shop at Dollar Tree. Okay, so when my kids were little, I feel like I paid somewhere between $15 to $20 at Toys R Us for these. Dollar Tree has definitely stepped up their game in the floral department over the last few years. Like, look at these. They are glittery, so not completely my style, but oh my gosh, these are hydrangea, hydrangeas potted and these are so fantastic. I love hydrangea. I think I'll have to get this blue one. Anyways, uh, they just have a ton. The boxes are here in front of it, so it's a little bit hard to share with you. But look, these are like a flocked or semi-flocked almost. And they had gorgeous roses not too long ago, the cabbage roses. But they keep coming out with new stuff. Look at those. So I had to try this because I think they look fantastic in these pots. So the white one and the blue hydrangea, so pretty. I can't, I think I'm just ready for spring. I can't get enough of their florals today. Look how pretty they are. These little roses, or no, I don't know, just little flowers, they're pretty. Anyways, I'm ready for summer. I'm really happy that their fountain, like this lighter thingy is available all the time now because it's one of my favorite candles ever. It lights up beautifully on a cake. And I think I'm gonna grab these birthday glitter candles for my daughter's birthday. And then also I spotted some cupcake liners. So I'll go and see if they will match. 
We have a ton of sprinkle mix kits or sets. So those are little ice cream cones, the bunnies for Easter are super cute. These are unicorns. There's a little crown for the princess. And then they have the flamingos. Oh, these are cute because they are chicks for Easter as well. I think they're fantastic. Anyways, I wanted to take a look for the cupcake liners. These aren't staying on the shelf. As soon as they're put out, they are gone. So they're the matching. Um, I like these as well for my craft room. But anyways, they have the matching bottom and top. Isn't Fashion Angels a brand that I think Toys R Us was carrying? They have these giant coloring books. Oh, Paw Patrol. Uh, these are the giant coloring books that I was trying to reach here, but the pages are not my favorite. I'm kind of picky. I like a nice white or a thicker page. So these are a little bit flimsy for my... Oh, there's Vampirina. These are new. Just little white whiteboards. They come with a marker. There's a few options here. That's not bad. Flounders on there. Cute. These are nice. I like these types of pages. That's worth it. Oh, they have little coloring kits. A bag and comes with a set of markers. These have finally arrived at our stores. They're made by the Color Factory. Has anyone tried them? They are a paint brush marker. As you can see, their tip. So anyways, I'm not sure if they work well. And if they have, maybe somebody can leave a little review down at the bottom. I do want to take a look at the stickers. I know oh, these are fun little containers for organizing kids' things or for your makeup or pens and stuff. But oh, these are new. Oh my goodness, my daughter's way past LOL. But see, when she was into it, I couldn't find things at Dollar Tree. The little ladybug stickers. They're like a gem almost. They aren't wood. They're not like this, but they're like a clear plastic, almost like a resin. These are foiled. So many beautiful stickers. I'm having a really hard time lately on passing. Um, I just keep kind of coming home with a pack or two of stickers, which is terrible. Oh my gosh, see, I need these. These will be coming with me. Yeah, I definitely love a little moped. So, let's take a look, see if there's anything else here. And then... These are little gems. I love the little dots as well. I think I have those at home. Oh, these are pretty. Some flowers. Oh, this is so freaking cute. An LOL, LOL click. Oh, and there's Disney Mickey Mouse and the princesses. I think. Yep. Anyways, these are the click pens. They have a bunch of pens here, but for. Oh, here's some Avengers. They're pencils, though. These look new file folders. It's hard for me to click them open with one finger, but they look good. The couture highlighters are awesome too. These show up every so often and I actually really like them because they have a variety of gems. So then I just sort them by color and I just, I, oh, these are cute. Mini plastic containers. They're teeny tiny. Anyway, so yeah, then I sort my gems in the little clear like they look like acrylic containers here from the Dollar Tree. But uh, 
I'll share them when we find them. I should grab some beading jewelry wire. This is a really good value for the six pieces. I also really like their variety pack of sequins. I love these for shaker pockets. These would be cute like as an accent in a notebook, even if you didn't attach them to the plastic ring, but just kind of use them on a page. I actually am going to grab these for some shaker pockets that I have in mind to do. And they have, oh, these are glass, so they're quite heavy. But I really like the, I really like the purples. These are new here at Dollar Tree. I hadn't, I don't think I've ever seen them. Nope, laugh, hope. I mean, you can paint those, distress them. The same with these, right? You can make little coasters for your drink. You can make some people stack them together. These are great little fairy doors or an elf door. They have a lot of paint and glue, accessories, whatever you really need for your craft supplies. They have them right now, which is awesome because for a long time we were sold out. If you need fun bubble mailers, buy them at Dollar Tree. The price is right and they have really nice colors to choose from. Does your store have all of these wreaths? I am so impressed. Every time I come in, there's like a new form. I know these are two set, but they're tiny, right? But then look, they have the wheel and everything. And the moss looks so cute inside of these big rings, even attached to here with a bunch of eggs. You can make like a little egg tree. These are supposed to be tomato cages, right? Oh, these are new and they have a little metal decal. How sweet are these? Add a little flower. Kind of has that old school white milk vase effect. Lots of ribbon. This store has quite the variety. Some stores don't have as much. Does your store have um, a lot of ribbon available? Like the fabric stuff, not, you know. These would be great as shaker, pock, a shaker filler as well. I already got my multicolored one, so I don't think I'm going to buy any more from here. Oh, look! Nautical rope. I'm going to leave you with a little bit of a transformation and some DIY ideas using Dollar Tree material. A lot of these things you will see now for spring, so if you need to transform them, buy them, and then you can work with them. I have the full tutorial on my YouTube channel, of course, so you can see it in the playlist under DIYs. But uh, hopefully this kind of gives you some inspiration. I will post the rest of my Dollar Tree walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed walking through with me. And until next time, everyone, thank you so very much for watching. Bye for now.